Music merchant movies. 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 Gather round as I run it down and unravel my pedigree. My pimp lineage is evident. West Jackson to Ferris Street. Boy, that was my residence. Raised on honey buns and Kool Aid. And I was neglected like a toothache. What's happening, y'all? It's your boy, the 1JP, tapping in right quick. Want to talk to y'all about makeup on women. But before I do, like, share, subscribe, notify. Also, brought to you by Missing Link Apparel, my company, with the fresh free agents worldwide t shirts available. Slide on over to my Instagram page and buy direct. Uh, Cash App, Venmo. PayPal and Apple Pay available. So, on the topic, <clears throat> are is makeup the devil's frosting? The short answer is yes. The long answer is hell yes. And here's why. And now I'll, I'll, I'll include one of my past experiences. And this is what changed my whole view on makeup. And this happened way back in high school. I was with this chick who was all about the makeup. And, you know, for the most part, I was too. It was more like a, I liked it, but I didn't like it. I was, I was on the fence. And then, you know, because I didn't have a problem with lip gloss or um, a lipstick that matched her skin. You know, it's nothing worse than seeing a, a black chick you know, with super red lipstick. That means she didn't do her due diligence to find a lipstick that matches her skin tone. She just put on some shit that, that was in her mama's bathroom, you know. And <clears throat> she had this foundation on her face. I was like, damn, are you going through all that? Well, anyway, long story short, I, I ended up seeing her without the makeup. And I was terrified because she had all kinds of acne blotches and, and craters in her face and stuff. And it, it, it turned me off right away. It just, I ain't want no, nothing else to do with this girl. Even though she was fine. She was fine. She was nice. You know, had a good attitude. It's just that the makeup destroyed everything for me. I ain't want to deal with her no more. And, and from that point on, I said, look... I want natural beauty. I don't want natural beauty. And the, and the most that I will tolerate from a woman is lip gloss. Because that's not makeup. That's just a, a gloss on the lips. It doesn't change how the lips look. It's just gloss to in, accentuate her natural lip color. You know what I'm saying? Because I like the, 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 the juicy um, brown um, kind of... You know, even if they're pink, you know, as long as they're healthy lips and they look healthy and, you know, they they look kissable, it's a turn on for me. So I, I spent my life dealing with nothing but women who don't do makeup. And if, and if they do do makeup, I let them know it. And you I could see on their face that, damn, I got to go home and get rid of that damn makeup. Because he don't like that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to stop wearing it. So I can see that on some of the females' faces that I used to deal with. And, uh, but again, with makeup, women are false advertising. That's a false advertisement. You, 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 you spend all this time in the mirror making up this facade to catch a guy attention. Hopefully, you know, he ends up being your man or something. But you're not looking at the, the ramifications and the consequences of taking that makeup off. Because guys don't know or don't understand that makeup, how bad it damages your face. So a lot of guys don't get that until it's too late. And, and how makeup, it clogs your pores. It makes your face itch. You ever see females... You know, they have to go get a they have to go to the bathroom and touch up. Sometimes they doing that when they go in there and doing this shit right here, their face is itching. It's itching. 
It's not that the foundation is coming off or nothing, they touching up a spot. No, their face is itching. So they use that, that pad to, you know, it's like scratching. They're scratching their face, really, is what they're doing. To get that, you know, to stop from itching. You know, and they, they, you know, they tell you they touching up their makeup. When that couldn't be further from the truth. And then also, <clears throat> how long it takes to put the shit on. That's a big flat, red flag for me, too. Um, because I actually uh, was, was with this chick that I actually left. I went to pick her up. Now, I'm the type of guy like this. When I call you and say I'm on my way, your ass better be ready. It ain't no me coming in there, sitting down, watching some TV for the next 30, 45 minutes while you figure it out. No. It's like, when I'm on my way, you 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 should be ready. You should you, the, the, the only thing you need to do is when I get there is pick up your purse and your keys and head out the door. I'm not the type that's going to wait on you. So I was with this chick. Um, this was some years ago. And I went to go get her. You know, was going to go do some things. And, uh, you know, she told me to come in, you know, have a seat right quick. I thought it was just something. She just had to use the bathroom, something real quick, you know. And, uh... Man, she went back there and was was getting her makeup all, you know, together and stuff. And I'm like, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? And um, she was like, I'm on my way. I'm coming. Now, this was, shh, man, this had to be like 10 minutes in after I got there. And I was already ready to go. So it pissed me off. So I said, okay, I'm going to give this chick another five minutes and I'm going to leave. I gave her exactly five minutes. I got in my car. And then I even, you know, made it to where I'm, I'm going to let give her signs that I'm leaving. I walked out the door, you know, gave the door a little slam so she can hear it. I got in my car, crunk it up so she can hear it, even revved it, zoom, you know. And then she never came outside. Put that bad boy in gear, pushed off. She called me about five minutes down the road. Where you at? Why you leave? I said, I'm gone. That was the end of it. I said, I'm gone. Um, you know, good luck, you know, with what you're doing, you know, and your 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 search for, you know, dating prospects, boyfriends, whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't with that. And then first of all, and second of all, I'm not even with all that makeup that you was trying to apply. You know, that was a turn off, you know. I ain't with it, you know, and just left. And then uh, she was like, well, you ain't got to come back. I was like, well, you know, I ain't coming back. You know what I'm saying? I kept rolling. But um, that was another time where I said, you know what? I am not dealing with women who got to go in there and, and slap on all this fucking makeup. I want to see what you look like natural. You know what I'm saying? And to you men out there, you need to be practicing this shit too. Because if you can't wake up with the same woman you laid down with in the looks department, you're going to be disappointed as fuck. You're going to be mad. You're going to be like, what the fuck is going on here? And then when you try to express yourself, you're not going to be able to get it across because she ain't going to tolerate it. She's going she gonna to be like, well, you you fucked me. You you took me to bed. and You stepped to me and blah, 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 you know, and it's shame you and do all kind of bullshit. Stress that you don't need. Mosquito flying around. I'm about to kill that motherfucker. I'm looking at you, mosquito, where your ass at. But anyway, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. The makeup industry makes billions of dollars annually off of women buying makeup products. And what does it do? It damages the women's face. Over time, it damages their face. They have all these craters and 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 problems and dark spots and you know, and then they try to sell you more chemicals to put on your face thinking that that's going to solve it. When actually, beauty, you know, like they say, beauty comes from within. It, it literally does. So if you're taking care of your insides, your outside is going to look good. So, for instance, if, if a woman, say, say, say a woman is vegan, you know what I'm saying? I'll just use, you know, my, my, my late wife as an example. Vegan, right? Skin was just as clear as it wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? No acne, no bumps, none of that. 
pure, you know, chocolate, looking good, all that, right? Only thing I allowed her to wear, and I, and I allowed her, the only thing I allowed her to wear was lip gloss because she had them nice, you know, that chocolate, that chocolate line that go around the pink lips. You know, you brothers know what I'm talking about, that little chocolate line that go around, and then the lips are pink. So when they put that gloss on there, you be like, damn, I want to I wanna suck them lips off. You know what I'm talking about. You fellas know what I'm talking about. You know, you, you brothers that uh, that date those, uh, those those sisters that don't do a lot of makeup, but they like that, that gloss around the lips, that's sexy as hell. But I made sure there was no makeup products in this house. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she understood it. She, she you know, got with the program. Because when I met her, she, you know, she was trying it, you know. You know, all women gonna try to do makeup. Oh, dad, I got your ass. Got him. All women are going to test the makeup waters. And it's not until a guy tells them, hey, you don't need it. You're pretty the way you are. That's the only time they're gonna realize that they don't need it. And when they get that confidence from a guy, letting them know that they don't need it. Because their, their friend girl is going to tell them, girl, slap it on. Because girls, females are in competition with each other 24-7. So if she can benefit by making you look uglier by putting on makeup, she's going to tell you to do it. But a guy is going to be honest with you and tell you whether or not you need to wear it. And you don't even need to ask a guy. If a guy is about his... Male, maleness is, is, is what he likes. If he's a guy that likes makeup, he's not going to tell you that makeup is bad for you and it doesn't look good on you and, and you look beautiful without it. He's not going to tell you that. But a guy like me who has a standard of beauty is going to tell you that because I don't do weave. I don't do makeup. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight natural. You know, if I can't, if I can't get turned on by your natural beauty, I'm definitely not gonna get turned on by all that crayon that you put on your motherfucking face. So that's my thing. I'm not like every other guy. Every other guy has their own preference. You know what I'm saying? Every guy has their own preference. And again, some guys like that. Some guys are cool with the makeup. You know, with all the, you know, the, the three layers of. Eyeshadow, you've seen that, right? A girl, she'll have, she'll have yellow, red, white. You know, what I'm saying three layers. You know, it's like, dang, what, what, what's with all that? And then she got to put on the eyelashes. You know, what I'm saying or the fake eyelashes. Then she got to put the makeup on and the foundation. And then you look right here. This color don't match this color. And you're like, what the fuck is going on here? You just came out the house looking like Bozo the Clown. You know what I'm saying? You think I'm supposed to be turned on by that. You see what I'm saying? But it's guys, like I said, it's some guys out there that don't have that standard to where they would prefer the woman not wear makeup. Like I said, in my opinion, makeup is the devil's frosting because you're covering up the train wreck that's underneath. And see, if you're not a train wreck, you don't need it. And a lot of women understand this, but some of them fall into that trap of, I got to put it on. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to be a little harsher. There's some ugly women out there that y'all need makeup. Y'all need it. You know what I'm saying? To kind of hide some of the imperfections that happen to you. Maybe you got in a fight and, and, and the girl did a, a, a nice little Tommy Hearns on you and cut you. You know what I'm saying? So you, you like to cover that up. But I get that, you know. Um, you know, some women need it, but the kind of women that, uh, that are attractive to me, I don't look for that. I don't even want nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Because again, it's bad for your skin. Um, it's a waste of money. It's a true waste of money because a lot of you women, y'all put it on. And then by the end of the day, you got to take it back off. You know what I'm saying? You don't go to bed with that shit on your face. Now, if you do go to bed with it on your face, that's another problem. Because when we sleep, our pores open. Okay? And what you're doing, you're letting those chemicals and all that paint get down into your pores and create those craters and blotches in your skin. 
And I always have promoted to women and men, all you need every day to make your skin look as healthy as possible is a hot towel. That's all you need. You know what I'm saying? A hot towel will excite the skin and let the natural oils permeate throughout the skin to make your face look like you need it to look and like you want it to look. You know, beautiful, sexy, not a lot of bumps and pimples and, and blotches and craters and acne. and You know what I'm saying? That comes from, one, it comes from hormones. Two, it's the makeup. And probably three, and this is a nasty one, a lot of y'all don't wash y'all face. And that's, that's, that's a sad thing. Some people get up, men and women, and the only thing they probably do is wipe their eyes. They don't wash their face. They don't wipe their face. You know what I'm saying? I, I take a hot towel, and I'm like, Shh. I do that a lot. You know, I press on it, you know, hold a hot towel on my face. You know, I really get into washing my face. And as you can see, I ain't got a lot of blemishes on my face. You see what I'm saying? Problem spots. You know what I'm saying? Um, we all have oily spots on our face. My most oiliest is my nose. So I take care to make sure that the oil in my nose is in check. I keep it in check. I wash my face. I make sure I clear out any bumps that might be trying to build up oil. And that's natural. It's natural that our bodies kick off oil. Because it's supposed to. It's, you know, when you got the melanin in you, it's going to come out. And whether you don't have that much melatonin, melanin, you're still going to um, produce oil in your skin. It's natural that we do. And some of our bodies kick out more oil than others. Now, this is not an excuse to put makeup on. So all you women out there say, well, that's why I do it, because I got oily skin. No, 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 no. Don't, don't come in here and tell that lie. You don't, you don't put on makeup to stop oil. That's BS. What you do to stop oil is you take a hot, warm tile and you put it on your face and you wipe your face and get the excess oil off your face. You know what I'm saying? And practice not wearing makeup. Number one, you're going you're gonna to realize how much money you're saving. Number two, you're going to realize that the man in your life, if you got one, is more attracted to you. Because you're coming off with the natural look, okay? The natural look has always been the best look. That makeup shit that started back, you know, I think after World War II when, you know, women were desperate for, for husbands and stuff, they came out with this shit. But um, so women flock to that, you know, just like the perms. That's another thing. I'm going to, you know, talk about that too. Women need to leave that shit alone because you ain't doing nothing but making yourself you know, look like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar burning all your hair out and then why the, why the lady at the shop telling you it looks good, you see? So a lot of y'all getting bamboozled and swindled and, you know, you you got to do your own research on some stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's all I really wanted to say, man, is that, you know, ladies, if you're worried about dying alone, <laughs> like they say, um and you're worried about trying to attract a man, number one, your money is not going to attract him. I mean, it might for a short period of time. But ultimately, if you want to keep a man, you got to keep this and your body in tip-top shape. You know what I'm saying? And stop all this, uh, you got to love me at my, my worst so you can't have me at my best. Well, Listen, when you going to have your best? I'm not going to help you get there. You know what I'm saying? The next man ain't going to help you get there. You need to get there, then talk about I'm at my best. Don't be sitting up here talking about if you can't love me at my worst. Look, that ain't nothing but a cop out. That's guy, that's that's a, a trap for guys to say, oh, okay, she working toward trying to get better. Let me jump on and help her. Nah. Hell nah. That ain't how it works, ladies. Um... You need to be trying to be your best when you step out the house. You need to be trying to be your best. If you want a man that, you know, if you think you want a man that, that is on a level that you desire, you got to, you know, you got to bring more to the table than your funky attitude and your job. Because <laughs> guys ain't feeling that. You know, you see it all over the all over YouTube and the manosphere and, you know, the femisphere that, you know, guys ain't feeling that. Only the simps are going along with what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? 
And y'all sitting up like y'all don't have to have no sitting, you know, you don't your standards are way down here. You know what I'm saying? Why the why the man that you want, his standards up here. And you ain't even trying to get there. But you want him to come down here. You got life fucked up. Really, you do. So you need to get with one of them betas that don't mind you being down here. You see what I'm saying? Get with him and he'll love you to death. But if you want a guy that has a standard, his level is like, hey, I don't want this, I don't want that, I ain't dealing with this, I ain't dealing with that. You're going to have to step it up. <laughs> You're going to have to step it up. Or, you know, fall by the wayside, you know. Keep doing, living your best life, being a, a hood booger or whatever, you know, however you come across and, you know. You know, how, how you say I ain't changing for no man and, you know, uh, I act like a wife when he put a ring on it. That's the stupidest shit I ever heard. How you going to wait to act like a wife after you get the ring? No, you act like a wife. You you play the wife role. You get yourself in line before he give you that ring. That's what you're supposed to do. All this shit about uh, this bullshit, Beyonce running down, talking about if you, if you, if you love it, you should have put a ring on it, all that bullshit. Look. You women, and I'm talking to, to, to all women, with this attitude of entitlement that he has to accept what I bring now is the, the worst move you can make. Because when you think about it, when you think about anything in life, let's, let's take sports, for example. I'm a sports guy. When one team comes to play, you think the other team... It's coming to sit out, sit down and look around and say, we just going to win. Just by looking at them, we're going to stare them down and we're going to win because we gave them the, the stare down and now they're scared to play and we're going to walk off with the victory. That's not how it works, ladies. When the man comes to play, you got to come to play. And that means if he, if he bring in, you know, all these resources to the table, you're going to have to get into your submissive, your obedient zone to be able to deal with that man because he ain't gonna put up with you period you know and, and all this um you know where did all the men go well they are not nowhere near you that's where they are because they're not gonna deal with a woman like you you know what I'm saying? They're not going to deal with a woman like you. Bad attitude, thank you, know it all, resistant to change, resistant to instruction, you know, resistant to every fucking thing. You think a man's supposed to love that shit? And then you want to come uh, with, with a pound cake stacked on your face? You know what I'm saying? You know, like you just went and bought a box of cake batter and said, I'm going to stir this shit up and then fuck that. He going to love me for me. That's not how it works. And, and you know, um... It's, it's sad because y'all expect black men to just take whatever. <laughs> that shit don't work either. <laughs> black men, we, to be honest with you, we should have the highest standard of any man. We should have the highest standards of what we want. Because we've been held down and pushed down so long on the bottom so long, we ain't gonna accept nothing less. You know what I'm saying? And that's what men, real men, should be doing. Now, I can't speak for you simps because y'all quick to say the, the woman is God and let me uh foo-foo and kiss your ass and, and buy your flowers and take you out to dinner and buy y'all kind of shit, you know, rings and, and weddings and all this shit. And then on top of that, behind my back, you fucking two, three niggas up the street that, you know, I shoot basketball with, you know. Come on. That's not going down. And... You know, what's, what's, what's happening is it's backfiring on you uh, womenist. Let me say it like that. Is that a new word? Womenist. We're going to use that other one because, you know, they be striking and flagging and, you know. We're going to call y'all what it, what it, you know, we're going to flip it on you. Womenists. You womenists out there that think uh, he, he'll take whatever, you know, he'll, you know. Gone, girl. Do your thing. He'll be waiting on you at the finish line. That's the worst advice y'all could ever get. That's why y'all mad right now. That's why y'all upset right now. Uh, going at 
you know, all the different content creators because they pointing out the truth on y'all. And, you know, that's, it, hey, it is what it is. If y'all can get out there and point out some truth on men, by all means, if you can do it, do it. But you really can't. You know what I'm saying? That's why there's such a, a contention going on because the truth is being exposed on the women. See, the men have already been living their truth for the longest. You know what I'm saying? Been get been getting dealt dirty hands by women. You know, uh, getting uh, graped in court, uh, getting raked over the coals for child support, um, getting cheated on, um, getting backstabbed, getting finessed. Men have been, you know, going through this shit for the longest, you know, since the beginning. So we don't have uh, anything to be ashamed of. We're just pointing out the obvious, you know, the truth of the matter and, and, and the facts of the situation that, you know, men are, are, are waking up to the bullshit that women have been portraying for the longest. And it wasn't until social media till that happened. Now, if social media never happened, do you think these women will be out here um, trying to, you know, figure out what's what's happening? No, nah, they'll keep going on with the same plan, you know, uh, finessing men, cheating on men, getting over on men, using men for this, and, and you know, settling down with a beta while they're getting fucked by 15 Tyrones, you know, body count way up to the skyrocket level, you know, um, they will keep going. And see, that's why I don't buy it when I see females get on social media and try to talk like they red pill, like they from the man's point of view and they, they understand the man's point of view. Nah, that's just for likes and, and follows and cash apps and money. You know, it's just another way to finesse because women are master manipulators. And once they find out what makes men tick, y'all start to move your needle to that direction. Now, all of a sudden, you're a high-value woman, and, and you know how to treat a man, and, and you know, and then when a man, when, and then when they ask you, what do you bring to the table, you still don't know what you bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I bring back rubs. I rub his feet. I encourage him. You know, I, I cook, you know, but I'm not going to be uh, somebody's slave. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sad state of affairs. For the woman in America right now. Y'all got it bad. And it's finna get worse. It's finna get a lot worse. A lot worse. A lot worse. A lot worse. Which is why I'm so happy that I'm a single man. I ain't looking for no relationship. So ladies don't inbox me. Don't shoot me no kind of cutie smiles and eyes and stuff. I'm not interested at all. Um... The only thing I got for you is some hard dick and some bubble gum, and I'm fresh out of bubble mint. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's me. The rest of these guys, if they want to play with y'all and, and figure figure y'all out and give y'all the benefit of the doubt and, oh, I'm going to see what's up with this one. And, yeah. I just sit back with my popcorn and watch the, the horror flick happen. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, nah, I just want to touch base on that, man. And let y'all know that uh, makeup is the devil's frosting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you guys who have a woman that, you know, you go in the bathroom and she got tons of makeup in there. You know what I'm talking about. And you probably pissed off about it and you don't like it. You know? And uh, it is what it is. You guys stay up. It's your boy, the one JP on the one JP TV. We'll holler free agents worldwide. Go get you a t-shirt. Peace. I'm a pimp. My pen is my prostitute. I follow suit. I wake up and follow me. Don't follow you. I fall through. I fall smooth. I fall through. I spit flames and take names. I'm all true. A real man with a real plan. My real fans understand my struggle, man. For real, man. So many tears I done shed. I'm never scared. It ain't no hater. Roadblock my loaf of bread. And I'm gonna say it cause they say truth hurts. So girl, watch me go. The work while you make that booty twerk And I'ma introduce another kind of flow And if you don't like it then you need to check your bow And if your gal wanna come to my show Man don't get mad 
A gone, let her go. So she can wear that dress she bought at the store. The same kind she like to wear with the rubber band thong. She so excited when she bumping my song. So I keep your girl happy so you happy at home. So you can thank me. Treat me like the doctor of love. But I'm a pimp. Don't get it twisted. Sent straight from above. Cause I'm a pimp. Yeah.